What's up everybody, I'm back in Philly, and this time around we're going to be furnishing 20 new apartments. Now I'll tell you the exact story of exactly what's happening. Currently in this building that we're standing in, there are 14 apartments that are currently being operated by another Airbnb operator that was operating at a loss for the last few months. Because of that, he didn't pay rent for 4-5 to five months straight. The landlord finally evicted him, kicked him out, but left all of his furniture behind. Called me and said, Hamza, do you want to take over all 14 apartments? Knowing me, of course I said yes. So that's exactly what happened. I am now in the building, we're gonna to tour all the apartments, show you what we have to do to make them rentable again, how we can improve them, figure out why he was losing money, why I'm gonna make money, and show you some of the new apartments that the owner also gave me that were part of the original list. So out of the entire 14 unit mix, all of them are majority one bedrooms and studios. Now the building did have a bunch of two bedrooms vacant as well, so I decided I'd take another five or six two bedroom units, and this is exactly what they look like. The one bedroom and studios, the layouts are a little different, where you're gonna see, you know, we don't really have a lot of room to work with, so I had my designer basically strategically plan out the placement of all the furniture. But these two bedrooms are nice and spacious enough, where it's gonna be the routinely classic, you're gonna have your sofa, wall art, lamp, tree, coffee table, rug, TV stand, uh, console table over there, some bar stools, and that's basically it. This entire wall is gonna be painted a nice midnight blue or a nice dark gray. Now bedrooms, exact same scenario. These are nice big bedrooms, we're gonna have nice queen beds, nightstands, lamps. I'm probably gonna paint one accent wall in the entire bedroom and also a nice dark gray, midnight blue color. Now the average rents for these two bedrooms are around $2,200. Studios are running me anywhere from 14 to 16, and then one bedrooms are from 17 to 19. So these are the exact five units that are brand new that we're gonna be furnishing from scratch. So all the furniture coming in here is gonna be all of mine, my own pick, my own design, and we're gonna be doing all these five from scratch. The lease for these starts in two weeks. So we have to get the first 14 ready, then the lease is gonna start for these six, and we'll do these six right after. All right, so now we're in one of the units that we're taking over. Take a look at this entire wall. Scuffs pretty much everywhere. This entire wall is gonna be repainted. Let's we'll go into the actual unit itself. And this is pretty much a studio apartment. Now, in terms of furniture that I'm throwing away, and to actually make it, you know, livable again, to actually, you know, get good reviews, make it nice, aesthetically pleasing, there's a few things that I have to get rid of. First of all, the situation here. This dining table is not needed in the studio. We're gonna throw it all away. Even the bar stools, they suck. The dining chairs suck. We're gonna throw them all away and just put nice dining, uh, nice bar stools, essentially. This sofa is, look at this. There's dog hair on it, cat hair on it, kangaroo hair on it. It's just completely garbage. We're pretty much gonna throw this out. It's not really needed. The bed frame is perfectly fine. The bed frame is nice. It'll save money there. The mattress, I actually checked. It's a good quality mattress that I buy from Amazon. We're gonna keep the mattress. These lamps aren't bad, to be honest. I'm gonna keep the lamps. The nightstands, though, they gotta go. It's like the cheapest nightstand you can possibly find. We're gonna get rid of that. This desk, to be honest, is not that bad, but the chair, I think, you know, we have to get rid of it. I don't know, we'll see. The chair is iffy. Now, the carpet and rug is completely unacceptable. We have to get rid of that for sure, 100%. The TV itself is okay. Uh, we're gonna keep the TV. It's, what is it, a 50 inch, it's fine, but this needs to be all cleaned up. And I, to be honest, personally, I think I wanna put some type of stand or some type of shelf here and put a little decor there, just to make it a little bit nicer. Now, in terms of paint for this unit, I'm gonna paint this entire wall that you see right here all the way to the kitchen. It's gonna be completely midnight blue or dark gray, one of the two colors. And along with that wall as well, we're gonna paint that wall too. Now, in the kitchen, the previous operator left behind pretty much everything. But luckily, looking at the kitchen, everything is fully stocked. So you have all your cups, your plates, your wine glasses, uh, your Keurig machine, toasters, look at that. You pretty much have everything that you pretty much need. So I'm basically taking over all of it. There's even a whole knife set, there's some olive oil, so look at all those spices they got. Uh, I know everything's nice and clean in here. There's no reason of throwing any of that away, I'm just gonna keep it all. So 14 units, I probably saved $1,000 just in kitchen supplies alone. About 14 grand, 15 grand I saved just from taking over the entire you know kitchen spaces and not having to really spend any money on them. Oh, you can come here, bro. Where are you going? Wait, okay. <laughs> Taking stuff out of here. Okay. Is it recording? Yeah, you're oh. in it too, man. Oh, time, it's time, it's your time to shine. <laughs> See, the help is on the way, but until then, we still gotta do it ourselves. So this sofa itself is not even worth saving. We're just gonna toss it out. There's a lot of cat hair on it, dog hair on it. I literally touched it, both those things fell. There's no point. Let's get this guy out of here. Yeah, let's put it right here. So you know, Eden, for this one, what I think we're gonna do so see this wall right here? This one? There's a lot of scuffs on it. So what I think we're gonna do is paint this wall as well. From here on Yeah, here's from this wall. So we're gonna paint this wall and then this wall. All the way to here? Yeah, all the way up until basically, yeah, right there. Yeah, so this wall and then this wall basically. Yeah, yeah, that should be it. Oh yeah, we gotta take this rug out of here. 
grab this rug. Hey, Eddie, can you help with this? Even the nightstand, we're taking the nightstands out of here. Get the nightstand stuff. Lamps will keep though. This way right now, so I can get past. Grab the nightstands. These are garbage. These are garbage. We'll grab that rug, we'll grab these two. A lot of stuff to throw out today. So now we gotta basically go through all 14 units, figure out what's needs to be thrown away, bring it to the loading area. Problem is the majority of the trash is not really gonna fit, so we gotta have a dumpster dropped off to the building, and then start emptying basically everything into the dumpster. Once we're finally done, the dumpster takes it all away. Now this unit is pretty much the exact same scenario. It's another studio unit. As you can see, we're taking out that stupid dining table, the same dining chairs that we have there. This sofa needs to be thrown in the garbage. And if you turn over here, this entire wall has been painted a nice dark blue, midnight blue accent color. With the headboard being over here, new nightstands, new lamps, a brand new wall art, it's gonna look a lot more cleaner, a lot more crisper, and it's gonna give you that popping effect for your Hero Photo on when you're searching on Airbnb. Now over here in this section, I need to have some other type of TV stand. A lot of times it does not look the best without a TV stand in there. So we're gonna get a nice small TV stand. It's gonna go right beneath the TV. We're not gonna change the TV out. The TV sizes are perfectly fine. And it just completes that entire look. This sofa right here is gonna be thrown away. A similar size, nicer, better quality sofa is gonna be placed instead. A little carpet right in front. No dining table needed. We're gonna take this actually and get a smaller little eating table. That desk is still gonna stay there with the chair we have for a brand new desk chair. So you see, I'm not spending a crazy amount of money in these units. I'm just getting rid of, you know, the stuff that really was worn out, really wasn't needed anymore. And instead I'm replacing it with all brand new stuff, painting the walls, accent colors, but the majority of the mattresses, the expensive stuff, the bed frames, the TVs, all stuff that actually costs a lot of money, it's pretty much gonna stay the exact same. We're not changing that whatsoever. All the kitchen stuff's gonna be the exact same. We're probably gonna have to restock and refill the K-cups and things like that, but everything else, exact same, nothing's changing. That's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I gotta get back to work. We got more people coming. Gotta empty out all that furniture from all the apartments. Gotta get all the walls painted. All the new furniture has to be displayed into the rooms. Then all the supplies have to be split up. My cleaners are on the way. We gotta create a game plan and organize on that end. There's a lot of work to be done to get these 20 apartments up and running. If you enjoyed content like this, I hope you guys watch my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and comment. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok below. I'm always posting the daily life, behind the scenes, real operations of a real seven-figure Airbnb host.